Hello and welcome to my video. As you can see, um, I have my camper van here and I'm right on the side of the moors here uh, in rather a wide lay-by. So there's traffic going past, so that's probably that's what you can hear. Um, and I just thought I would um, today give you a bit of a tour of my uh, new vehicle. Uh, obviously on my channel I share all about my artwork and so on, but now I've got my van I'm also going to share um, about my camper um, and my trips in my camper to do my artwork. So I thought today would be a good time to just to, to share a little bit of a tour. So welcome uh, everybody. But if you're new here, please do subscribe and like and make comments. Um, I just love to hear your thoughts. And I'm gonna turn the camera around now and give you a little bit of a tour um, without my face in the way. So here we go. So I'm I'm just sort of walking up to the van. I hope that the traffic noise isn't too loud. Um, but this is a Nissan Serena and it's a 1.9 uh, litre uh, uh, vehicle and it's been imported from Japan and uh, then converted. And it's been converted uh, for me specifically and uh, it's been done uh, down in London. And um, it's as you can see uh you know a, a sort of it's a it's a fairly decent size um it's it'll be great for me and for lexi um it's about 4.4 meters long uh 1.95 meters high when it's got the pop-up up and there's a pop-up um and uh 1.7 meters wide so it's not huge um but it is uh, quite a nice uh, sort of size so i'm just coming around to the side so that you can see um so it has a rather nice uh sliding door on both sides so i can get in from both sides although obviously on the other side it's the back of the uh, units and um it has a, a rather nice floor which I've now made a mess of because I had Lexi in here decided that I couldn't actually do the video with her in as well at the moment um, and of course it's got all messy so I'm gonna have to uh, clean the floor but it's a kind of a, a really nice durable um, laminate floor so that's gonna be easily enough to do um, and then inside uh, it has uh, facilities for cooking um, in here let me just show you what I have got I have got a cool box um, and that's a Dometic and it's a, a proper cool box that gets right get right down to sort of um, fridge temperatures and actually I think it actually will actually freeze as well and um, then in here I have my uh, water bottle um, and the sink uh, above uh, means that I can uh, use uh, the water and then this here is a one one ring hob um, together with uh, a, a nice little sink and that sink work, works with um, just turn the lights off hopefully you can see yeah so that's so that's operated from uh, the uh, leisure battery and uh, then I have little lights that are operating on the leisure battery at night let me show you so they you touch it once and touch it again and so that's great at night and you can obviously angle these in different ways so that's all good right and then uh sort of for sockets for uh, electric hookup and just to be clear in terms of the leisure battery uh both the uh cool box and uh, the uh, water uh, in the, going into the sink, the sink pump and also the lighting uh, are all on the leisure battery and are operated uh, by these three switches here. And then this uh, is where, when I mentioned the USBs, uh, there's two USB sockets uh, in there as well. And this number here is just uh, information on um, how charged the leisure battery uh, is. And then um, this is a rock and roll seat, which I'm not going to pull it right out because uh, it will kind of be problematic because I'm holding the phone. Um, but it's just literally using this, um, using this catch here, I literally can, can pull it. Hopefully you can see that. And I'm not going to pull it straight out because that's not going to really um, be very easy when I'm holding the phone. I need to get some kind of system for filming myself out here in the van actually. So one thing that I didn't show you was just this storage uh, that is underneath 
uh, the bed. So there's, and that's accessible from the back as well. So that's quite a nice um, storage space. And, and just, what you see at the back there is the table. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just pop the table up so that you can see it. And I'll uh, also show you how the door system works. So if I open, if I just use the handle here, then it will close. <laughs> Perfect. If I open it again, so some nice features on this, um, this, this little vehicle. And I'm going to uh, just stop a minute whilst I sort of get the table out and I sh show that with you, show that to you. Okay, so here it is. It's a single leg table that just, um, to the, the leg just pulls out. And then if I go under there, it just clips into that nice little bar there. And one thing I didn't show you as well, which is really handy, is I've got this little drawer. At the moment, it's just got all of the instructions in it, but it's going to be a really handy little drawer for utensils and goodness knows what. Um, so that's the other feature. And uh, then after, behind the rock and roll bed and at the side there, I have quite a bit of storage. Um, so this is a sort of roll up um, and that's uh, some storage and that's quite deep. So that's kind of handy. Um, and then underneath here, I've got more more storage as well and because that's over the wheel that's obviously not um not as not as deep but that's also quite um, a nice uh, space and then here this i'm not going to pop it up for now but here is where my roof actually pops up and it has a window in it as well so that when i'm on a site and i want a bit more height then i've got that extra height and then what I also have, if I can just climb up here to show you, is I've got a solar panel. And the idea behind the solar panel um, is to top up the leisure battery. Um, so that will keep my fridge, um, my cool box uh, running and so on, and my other things that are, that are uh, needing power when I'm not on a, on a site where I can put up to, up to the mains. And so then if I go round to the back of the van, you'll be able to see how um, this, this end lifts up and here we are. So in here, I've got more storage, so the storage there, and then this down here is where I keep the, the uh, camping gas gas bottle which obviously feeds the hob which I showed you um, and then underneath I've got more storage here as well so the storage uh, down there so that's really handy to have that extra storage so and then as I said to you on the other side of the vehicle um, I've got obviously the same sort of uh, door system but this is at the back of obviously the units but that, there you can see my water and uh, there's my leisure battery and there's also because I'm I can hook up to mains power there's obviously a trip switch up there as well so all of that sort of gubbins and then more storage here at the moment all I've just got is my screen wash there so quite a nice um, sort of setup really um, it now one thing i didn't just show you is this is the obviously this is my uh, my fuel tank uh for the for the vehicle for driving but also that's my electric hookup uh, socket as well so that'd be really easy to um to hook up to to the electric and then if i just come around to the front to show you that it's um you know sort of really really nice uh sort of seating and obviously two seats but this one this passenger one swivels round so that it will face the back um, when i'm stopped and in a minute i'll just share that with you and this is an automatic engine it's 1.9 i think i mentioned before it's an automatic uh, 
and because it's the chit seat swivels round in the middle i don't have a hand brake i have a foot brake which i have to um use in the same way that i would use a hand brake um that is one of the pedals and because it's automatic obviously i don't have to worry about changing gears that's new for me because i've always had uh, manual cars until now um and this would you believe is not a new vehicle at all but let me just climb in so that i'm not so noisy and uh, this is a uh, quite a, a reason, reasonable uh, age of vehicle, um, but this has obviously um, been imported from Japan. And in Japan, they just use their vehicles for um, sort of short trips, really, because their train systems are so uh, good. They don't do a lot of long journeys in them. So even though it's reasonably um, got a reasonable number of years on it, it's, you know, you wouldn't know it from looking at it. It looks quite new. Um, and also the Japanese don't use salt on their roads. So we don't, they don't have the same rust problems uh, that we have with vehicles. And... Uh, it's got, you know, some really nice little features like, you know, the, the, the doors don't have, they can be manually slid, slid each, on each side, but they don't have to be, as you saw, they can be electric and obviously the wind, the, the, um, the side mirrors are electric and I've got a reversing camera on this uh, system here so that I can see out the back. Just one extra feature to share is that all of the lighting, uh, so this light here and all of the, the lights uh, at the back there not the little ones on the stalks that I showed you, but the other lighting. This is all actually on the car battery, um, or that van battery, I should say, and there's one over on this side as well. Um, but they've been converted to LEDs as well, uh, so that they don't drain the battery as much. Um, not that I would have those on anyway, because uh, if I had the other, you know, the, the ones that were on the leisure battery, but it's just handy to know that they're not going to be draining the battery if you, for example, had those back ones on and didn't realize um, they're LEDs so they'll be using up uh, much less uh, power. And I'll just end with by showing you the, um, the seat uh, turned round the other way. So here we are, the seat um, swiveled round really quite straightforwardly um, so that it's now facing the middle so that if there's a couple of you having a cup of tea you don't have to sit side by side one can sit that side and you can move the seat for further forward you can recline it and do whatever um, and then obviously you can sit opposite the person on the other side so that's all uh, good so I think I've pretty much shown you most of the features of the vehicle um, this these windows are great because because you've got these guards on, it just means that we can um, have the, the windows slightly open, especially if you've got the gas on, you need the windows open without the rain coming in. Uh, so that's another kind of great feature. And obviously when, we tra when you're traveling, um, we wouldn't have this open. Um, this kettle would come off and then this goes down so that it's a nice a neat system and I have another hot plate system um, that, I use, that I can use if I'm um, hooked up to mains electric which is what those main 240 volt um, sockets are over at the back. Let me just jump out of the van and give you one last little stop and hopefully you can see and I will share with you my travels as I go on my way and hopefully I'll be going out in it uh, for a weekend uh, very soon. So thanks very much for watching. Please do like and subscribe and uh, I'll catch you next time. Thanks a lot, bye-bye.